All right, let's talk about poop. All right, it's not my favorite subject to talk about, but the topic came up. And the reason it came up is because this sort of uh, vegan weirdo made this comment on one of my posts where we were showing a, uh, an ex-vegan that had all kinds of diverticular issues that got better going on a, on a meat-based diet. Anyway, this is from FM1GNON. I'm not sure how you're supposed to say it. He basically says, I haven't seen a dentist in seven years since I went vegan, and my mouth is fresher than ever. He then goes on to say that 10 out of 100 feel like that. They just not doing it right. My stool became greener and healthier. Where did she get the blood from, bro? All right, so let's talk a little bit about poop. It's something that is we all do. It's something that we all are familiar with. Um, there are problems, you know, that can be detected by the color or the frequency or the, uh, you know, the different characteristics in poop. So let's talk about some of those. First of all, um, when we talk about bowel frequency need to know that there's a great deal of normal frequency variation in humans. It can be as much as multiple times a day. Uh, if you are a vegan and you prescribe to the vegan diet, you may be pooping six, seven times a day. You know, interestingly, when you eat like a gorilla, you tend to poop like one. And so this is some, this is some interesting data on gorilla poop characteristics. And, and what I found was quite fascinating is, you know, some of these silverback gorillas will poop on an average of about 3.6 kilograms or about eight pounds of poop every single day. That's the size of a small, you know, human baby. <laughs> every day they're giving birth to that much fecal material. And so that's, you know, kind of the vegan end of the diet scale. Now, again, normal frequency for a human being, multiple times a day. Two is the infrequent as once a week can be absolutely normal. And so that's something to be aware of. Now, different dietary patterns will leads you to go to the bathroom more or less option, less often, so to speak. Now, as far as what is poop supposed to look like, you know, texturally, if you want to get into that, there's something called, some of you may be familiar with this, it's called the Bristol stool chart. And it starts with, uh, you know, very constipated type poop where there were little, small little pebble-like hard, rock hard nuggets all the way through uh, what's considered supposedly the most normal, which is a Bristol school, stool school, or four, which is a kind of sausage or snake-like uh, texture, uh, all the way down to you know pure diarrhea, where it's completely liquid. Uh, just an interesting aside, uh, when we talk about bowel frequency, a few years ago I did a, I did a little study on carnivore. We had people do a carnivore diet for uh, 90 solid days, about 100 people did that, and we asked them to track the frequency of their bowel movements. So what they ended up uh, doing was we noted is that they had on average, about 1.2 bowel movements per day. Uh, some people have asked me about what the point to. What it ba basically means is for every five days, they had six bowel movements. So maybe they had one bowel movement four of the five days and two bowel movements on, on another day. Fairly normal pattern. Um, just out of, uh, <laughs> for, for completeness, I usually have Bristol stool score four, typically for mine. I'm not gonna show those to you, but you'll just have to Take my word for it, and the frequency on a carnivore diet for me is about once a day. All right, having got that little bit of TMI out of the way, well, let's talk about color. Because the vegan said his his poop was green, and he was you know he was proud of that. Now, stool color can vary, and you know most of the time, some form of brown is what's considered normal, lighter lighter to darker brown. But there are some things that can be worrisome. And green can be a problem. No, it's not always, but it certainly can be. Um, things we should be worried about. If our stools are maroon colored, you know, kind of a, kind of a purpley red color maroon, uh, that usually indicates some source of bleeding, some kind of pretty significant GI bleeding, which should be investigated, okay? If your stool is bright red, fresh blood, you know, clearly there's blood there. There's a lot of reasons for that. The most common reason is to have hemorrhoids, bleeding hemorrhoids. That is by far the most common reason, but you should not ignore bright red blood in the stool. It could be a sign of an infectious process. You know, it could be a sign of things like ulcerative colitis. It can even indicate uh, distal GI cancer, perhaps. So that's something to be aware of. Uh, on the other side of the, the deal, uh, black stools, you know, particularly if they're tarry and sticky, uh, that can often indicate significant blood coming from the upper digestive tract, say from the stomach, like a bleeding ulcer. So you can't ignore black stools. Now, sometimes certain um, supplements, Pepto-Bismol, remember the pink stuff for the indigestion or, or 
uh, things with bismuth or iron supplements can lead to uh, black stools. Okay, so those things are, are also part of the part of the deal there. Um, if your stool uh, is, uh, you know, very, very pale, you know, this can often be a problem, a biliary problem. And, you know, you could have some sort of biliary obstruction. Uh, we may see uh, yellow stools, which can often mean things with pancreatic problems or fat malabsorption. And so those things should not be ignored either. And finally, the green stool that the vegans have often can mean that your, your, your digestion is, is too fast and you're not able to uh, properly break down bile. And the bile is just running through you. Uh, it can be, you know, due to eating a high amount of, of leaves and things like that. So that's, that's the deal on, on uh, stool. Uh, you know, there's a lot more to this stuff, but, you know, suffice it to say there's a dramatic variation of normal in human frequency. Color can be a clue for pathology. Uh, most of the time, some form of brown is, is typically what we see. And as far as, you know, what the shape is or the pattern, uh, you look at that bristle stool chart. Okay. If anybody wants to share their, <laughs> their stool habits, feel free to in the comment. I'm sure that'll elicit some interesting discussion. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, have you noticed uh, any problems, you know, interesting with, with the carnivore diet? You know, the Harvard University study on the carnivore diet uh, showed that about uh, 3% of the people had issues with, uh, you know, uh, either constipation or uh, diarrhea, uh, you know, for all, over the long term. But in the short transition period, that's not that uncommon. But overall, it's fairly low. And it's probably very similar to what it is in the normal population. So uh, carnivore diet does not lead to chronic constipation or chronic diarrhea for most people. There are, of course, going to be exceptions with that. All right, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you enjoy talking about these types of topics? Uh, if so, let me know. If not, let me know. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye, guys.